Mm. Pretty little black skin girl, pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to record a very quick video touching on a portion of a postpartum struggle that I know affect a lot of women and that is the lack of help and support after having the baby. While you're pregnant, everyone is basically up in your business asking how far along are you, when are you due, what are you having, do you have a name yet, etc, etc. And then you give birth and have the baby and it's like the mama is invisible and everybody just want to see the baby, hold the baby and no type of help and catering is done for the mother. It's all about the baby, which the baby is very important, but it's the mother's job to take care of the baby. But whose job is it to take care of the mother while she's healing and recovering for bringing life into the world? I know a lot of women experience after having their baby feeling alone and feeling like nobody really understands what they're going through, how they're feeling, and um, just basically being surrounded by people but feeling like they're doing everything by themselves. I'm not saying that's the reality for every mother, but I know a lot of women experience that. I've experienced that. I've experienced it after having my first son, and I've experienced it after having um, this baby. So. With that being said, I've just been thinking a lot because I know for sure that um, bringing a child into the world is something special, is something magical, is something that should be cherished and embraced. But if we're not taking care of the mothers, then the children aren't being taken care of the way they need to be taken care of. A healthy and happy mother results in a healthy and happy baby no matter what. One thing I wanted to do for a very long time I've been considering is becoming a doula and not just to assist during birth but to assist after the baby is here. I've been thinking about it for a very long time honestly like before I even got pregnant with my first um, child I learned about what a doula is and I was like hmm sounds interesting but at the time I was all in college and all into the accounting field and so forth after having my first child I started thinking about it more deeply again but brushed it off but then after having this baby while pregnant with this baby is like it kept hitting me in the face of all the signs and all the little things that the universe is throwing at me as to why I should do it. And then I firmly decided that, yo, this is something I'm gonna do. And that's when I decided to start doing some research and looking up some doula training. And I found one, just randomly one day, somebody shared it on their Insta story and I decided to sign up. So I am currently in the process of becoming a certified doula. I've already done the first part, which was a three day, a three day training. And now there's a list of requirements I have to accomplish before becoming fully certified. But so far I've been learning so much and the more I learn, the more my passion for this grows, the more I want to help other women, the more I want to support other women, the more I want to advocate for other women, melanated women to be specific, because we suffer the most, the most regardless. So I'm not going to get into all of the details right now. I'll probably record another video to explain everything that I have to do to accomplish this. but. Um, one of the requirements is attending four births as a doula. Um, I do have a mentor and I do have access to all of the information that the training provides. So it's a continuation of learning and gaining knowledge on the topic about birth, pregnancy, postpartum, and just everything regarding that. Being an advocate, injustice in the the medical system when it comes to the maternal maternal mortality rate is just so much 
and like I said I'm learn I've already learned so much and I'm just eager to learn more and more and as much as I possibly can so that I could be the best advocate for other melanated women as possible and to also educate them and teach them a lot of things that we should all know regarding pregnancy, birth, labor, delivery, postpartum, etc. So like I said, I do have to attend four births as a doula as part of fulfilling my requirements to become certified with the help of my mentor. I already have one and I have three more that I will have to fulfill but um, we have the decision to offer our services for free or charge a very minimum fee. I decided to do it for free because like I said, one thing I know for sure is that I'm not entering this for the money. Yes, everybody have to earn their, their income or whatever, but I'm not entering this for the money itself. I literally have a passion for this and I feel like I finally found my purpose. So I am offering my first two stops for free, for sure. Um, my next two stops, I might just charge a very minimal fee, if that, and um, see how it goes from there until I'm fully certified. But if you are pregnant in the Virgin Islands area of St. Croix um, and would like me to be your doula, hit me up, send me an email, comment below, DM me, anything, I will respond. But that is it for this video. I just wanted to share that because I know how hard it is when you're pregnant preparing to give birth and after giving birth going through your postpartum period. I've struggled with it. I know other women struggle with it. And I just wish more people really, really understood what women go through when it comes to pregnancy, birth, and postpartum. Because a lot of people don't understand. A lot of men don't understand. A lot of um, friends and family just don't get it. And it's so easy to feel alone. And I want to be that support system for other women and hopefully find a support system for myself for the future so that I don't experience some of the things that I've experienced with my first two pregnancies. Anyways, that is all for this video. To all my melanated women, protect your womb by any means necessary. And to everyone else watching, protect your peace by any means necessary. I wish you all love light and prosperity and y'all will see me in my next video peace and you deserve it all oh, this is perfect and it's the magic and everything you do isn't that nerd